Hey guys, welcome to day four of week of ColourPop. Today's look is going to be using the Your Golden palette. It is a beauty as well as the ColourPop Sweet Talk Pressed Powder Palette. This is my peachy dream. <laughs> this is one of my absolute favorite palettes. I may not dip into that other one. We'll have to see. What I'm not going to be using are these pressed glitters. Now, this is a super shock. This, I think this was the first palette that they came out with that they put Super Shocks in. Now, I want to go ahead and set the eye primer, which is concealer. I use concealer. I know that I want to use this green today. Possibly, let me see, is this a glitter? Oh, it is. But I will, I'll show it to you swatched. Oh, that is beautiful. But getting glitter off of my eyes is a job, a J-O-B job. So, with that in mind, let's use this palette. So, I'm going to start off using this shade, which these shades are so tiny, and this is a holographic part of the palette. It is very difficult to read. I do still have the box, but I'm not going to go grab it. <laughs> yeah. Call me lazy. One eye on, one eye off. This eye is watering a little bit. It was watering before I started. This is the second video I'm filming today. I have more ColourPop than I have days of the week. <laughs> so I'm trying to really <clears throat> incorporate as much as I can. You know, I, I've recently used the ColourPop and Barbie palette. So I didn't put that in this rotation and it does have a beautiful, um, this color blue in it, but you guys have seen that. You saw the Cabana Club. What was I, yesterday's video for y'all? 20 minutes ago, video for me. I used the, I've already put it up. I used the ColourPop Troublemaker palette. That was interesting. Now, I'm going to go in with. Mm, let's go in with this shade as the transition and then kind of go here, 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 and then we'll deal with the shimmer. Just kind of wanted to show you guys what. order everything was instead of holding up that palette and worrying about it being in focus. Okay. 
This is probably one of the oldest ColourPop palettes that I have. You know what? I will go into this palette because these are some of the same shades as the peach palette. So, let's go in with this shade right here, which is called Remote. I hope I'm able to have these where you guys can see them. I am having a difficult time with my um, setup here. For starters, my monitor is a TV and my last one that I had in this room, my granddaughter took a toy at their house and threw it and it shattered their TV. Well, kids are kids and, you know, when they can't watch what they want, it can sometimes get dicey. So they got my TV that was in this room did it for the babies but we replaced it and the it is it's bigger but it's not as easy to kind of tilt it slanted so where I can see what I'm looking at it's now, I'm going to go into this shade first, and if this isn't deep enough, I'm going to go into that. So, let's grab a brush. I don't think this is going to be as deep as I want it. Nope. So now I'm going to go into the um, your golden palette and pick up that that shade. I mean, it, it so much more comes off on the brush. Now, this Sweet Peach palette, or what is I, what did I call it? Sweet Talk. I think I've always called it Sweet Peach. Anyway, this is an older palette, um, so color payoff. is still very good. Not as good as I remember that it used to be, but for what it is and how old it is, it's working A-OK. -okay. Now, I'm going to go into this deep chocolate shade, and if that doesn't give me what I want, I'm gonna go in with this shade. So, let's see. Now, I need to blend that. See how that skipped. I 
I think I am going to to uh, go into this palette, the um, your golden, the big palette. I seem to have. I mean, these colors are so alike. Oh. Yeah. All right. I said I wanted to go in with that. Um, this color shade. So now I'm going to go into this shade and incorporate that in the look before I put on the shimmer. Oh, where do I put it? Do I do the lower lash line? Or do I take it and pop a little bit? No. We're going to take that shade. And use it for the lower lash line. And for eyeliner, I'm going to use this Revlon Color Stay So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner. This one is in the shade, I think it's this Tracker. But Guys, have I ever even used this one? When I tell you they are pigmented, they are pigmented. Go on beautifully. So, that being said, let me go ahead. <laughs> I'm back. Let's take this copper, really, really, really pretty copper, and I'm gonna put this on the outside of my eye. And then I want this to be the main portion. So, I've got it on my finger, so let's... And I'm super lightly tapping it. I mean, I'm just using my finger to blend it. I mean, honestly. And, I mean, yeah, it covered up that. Liner moment here, but, you know, that's okay. We just do the other side like that. <laughs> All right, now. I am gonna use a brush for this. This beautiful, beautiful shade of turquoise. Don't let me down, color pop. Okay, not doing what I expected it to do. There we go, it's a little. Let me try it with my finger. I don't feel like I'm getting the 
full. Pay off with a brush. See, that's what I'm looking for, so. Finger is better with that shade. Then I'm just gonna go back and forth to blend that into that um, outer corner shade. And you know what? I think that I will take a little bit of that and pop it on my eyes. I don't think it's gonna be that bad because it's not much, but I can feel it falling. <laughs> They're very fine glitters. You can probably see them all over my face now. And for the inner corner, I am going to take, not that palette, this palette. And I'm gonna go in with, hmm. This shade right here. Alrighty guys, these are the eyes using these two, these two ColourPop palettes. These are the eyes up close. This eye is watering a little bit, so it's kind of gathering at the end and there is fallout, but this was the look that I came up with for as far as the eyes. I didn't put any mascara on. Getting this off is going to be the devil. Um, <laughs> so, I didn't want to add to an already hard situation by adding mascara. Alright, guys. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of similarities in these two palettes. Obviously, you get more with this. And, oddly enough, this reinforced the colors that I used in this so but I am really liking this look um I like the orange and um well it's light blue I thought it was more along the lines the color of my um little sweater here but it was not you can see the fall I haven't wiped anything away the fallout that is from that glitter shade. So, that is it for this video and this look. I hope you do all the youtube -y things. Consider subscribing if you aren't. Click that bell so you get all notifications of when I upload. And give this video a like or a dislike. It really and truly does help my channel. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. As always, be beautiful, be kind, and I'll see you in my next video.